In this example, we've got 5 and 33 hundredths plus 53 and 3 tenths. Since we have decimals, the most important thing to do is make sure we line up our decimal point. Let's start by writing in the number 5 and 33 hundredths. I like to start by putting the decimal point first. Then, I like to write the numbers to the left of the decimal point, and then the numbers to the right of the decimal point. So I'll write 3 and 3. Notice how I'm leaving a good amount of space. This is to make sure that everything is lined up nicely and neatly. Next, I'll write in my following number, which is 53 and 3 tenths. Again, I like to start by putting my decimal point first, and I'm going to line that up directly under my first decimal point. Next, I'll write in the numbers to the left, starting with 3, then 5. And then I'll write the numbers to the right of the decimal point. So I'll put a 3 here. If I have any blank spaces, I like to fill those blank spaces with zeros. That's called annexing zeros. Next, I'll write my plus sign in, underline everything, and then get to work. But just a brief reminder, the reason why lining up my decimal points is important is because what it really does is it lines up our place values. You may not have noticed it, but we ended up lining up our hundreds place, our tenths place, our ones place, and our tens place. And since all those place values are properly lined up, we can get to work without worrying about running into any issues. Let's start from the right. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Here, I'll bring down my decimal point. 5 plus 3 is 8. And 0 plus 5 is 5. Making my final answer 58 and 63 hundredths, more commonly read as 58.63.